Hello and welcome to another Mountain View soft wash video. It's been a few since I've done one of these. Uh, quite frankly, you've been uh, somewhat busy and, uh, and somewhat not. So we're kind of in between here. Uh, I've done a lot of basic washes on houses. I didn't want to be uh, repetitive and making videos on the same process. If you have something you want to know a little more about, by all means, comment. I'll uh, try to loop back around and do a video. But today is an important one because I got another vinyl home here. As you can see, it's darker vinyl. I've been working on a lot of uh, white or tannish, not so dark. In this case, it's a blue vinyl home. Um, heavy oxidation, which we'll show you here in a second. But instead of our normal process using uh, gutter butter or... Um, our eco chem that we recently tried in one of our other videos. Uh, I've got a new product today that I'm testing that's supposedly supposed to be a brushless solution. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I've had ah, a little bit of back and forth with these clean brushless uh, products. So today I've got one that uh, comes out of, let's see, east, east, uh, east side of the country. Uh, Southern, uh, I'll, I'll get the name here in a minute for you guys, but it's uh, it's supposed to be a brushless system. So I won't give you the name yet because I want to show you what I'm going to be using, show you the dilution factors. Uh, but first, let's walk around and take a look at this house and see exactly what we're dealing with today. Okay, so I'm on the south side of the home here. And this, um, in the shaded area, presumes to be a pretty, kind of a lighter, not too dark of a blue home, but you get around the side here, it's almost like a, a bluish white and it's really because of this oxidation and you can see here I don't know if that's coming up on camera I don't think it is but that's actually a darker blue just rubbed off with my finger um, and just this nice powdery coat which I've talked about which you guys have seen the guys that are in the field working on the stuff you know how intense this oxidation can be uh, this side's pretty and pretty oxidized not surprising the crazy part is this siding is only about three and a half four years old which actually does not surprise me because I've seen this before. Ox you know, siding, vinyl siding especially, uh, oxidizes pretty quickly. Uh, so this is what we're going to be playing with today. Um, this first section here is going to be kind of my test section. I mean, you can just see how bad that's getting. Um, I have to change gloves to show you the other side of the house, but it's pretty thick. Let's see, get the light right just right. But it's on there. Um, obviously, this house has changed colors dramatically since the installation of the the vinyl this side's not surprising it gets a lot of sun i mean here it is like almost 10 o'clock uh, in colorado and uh it's full sun and it's going to be like that for probably the next three or four hours um so it's getting hammered pretty good uh, this house over here on this i'm actually uh, seeing a lot of actually organic growth this next door house uh, which in this house we're not dealing with. So sorry to get sidetracked there. Let me um, walk around the other side of the house here and kind of go through uh, everything that we're looking at. The good news is the house is not that dirty. Um, the gentleman takes really good care of it. He has a pressure washer. So he does kind of a base wash, you know. I would say he's probably doing it every few months, if not once a month, because quite frankly, I'm just not seeing the typical Colorado dirt and spider webs that I would expect to see on most of these houses, especially out here uh, in the country. I'm uh, in south part of Fort Collins, or not Fort Collins, sorry, of uh, Platteville, which is south of Fort Collins, uh, probably about an hour south of where I normally function at. And uh, being out here, this you know, it's pretty open, but you expect to see a lot of dirt and stuff. I'm just not. So I know he takes care of this house. He mentioned he has a pressure washer. And the reason he found us, and I'll show you back here, by the way, north side of the house, not a lot of oxidation at all. Actually looks pretty good. You can see that it still has kind of its natural sheen to it. There's no chalky powder on there at all, um, which is a little bit surprising, but I can just tell you where the sun uh, sets at. He's just at the right angle where you're not getting a lot of sun on this side of the house. So we probably won't be doing a whole lot of oxidation rule over here. Obviously, if I see something, I'm going to go ahead and hit it. This side of the house, again, as you can see, full sun all day long. Um, this gentleman found me through my YouTube videos, and he uh, tried some off-the-shelf oxidation removers that claim to be uh, spray-on. And 
somewhat not brush you know brushless um but he did try to use his pressure washer which i don't know if it's going to come up on camera or not and just to kind of see so he applied the product on there and then started using his pressure washer and what you have here is the pressure was able to remove some of that oxidation but it's it's not doing the job that he thought it would do so and you can imagine trying to pressure wash this to move all this oxidation off with this product that in my opinion wasn't working very well for him uh, he gave up and i don't blame him it would take him a long time and uh, the amount of pressure you have to use to get that off uh, could do some damage too on the spot bundle siding so we're going to take care of this form we're going to use this new brushless chemical which i'll share with you the information here shortly uh, and you can see kind of some other areas where he tried some test spots like this whole section up here i can see where he really tried to get that off and he just got became very frustrated which I don't blame him. Um, you know, we first started all this, it was the same kind of same kind of deal. You know, you get frustrated, you try different things, you see what works, what doesn't work. And ultimately, I think we've got the process down pretty damn good. And uh, he just decided to go ahead and spend the money. So we'll get this uh, all washed off. We'll get the uh, oxidation removed. We'll put our fabulous Restore product on there. It's a waxing agent, UV inhibitor. That will protect that for you know a good year 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 and a half and then we'll come back out rewash reapply but it should keep the oxidation uh, to a minimal and that's the whole idea and premise behind the type of service that we provide so without further ado let me go to my truck here and uh, I'll pull out this product share it with you guys I think I might have touched on it I can't remember if my other video or not um, but we'll see what we're dealing with here. So hang tight. Okay guys, so here it is. This is the product we're gonna be testing with today. This is called Oxnox. This is from Southeast Soft Wash. It's not a paid promotion by all means. Uh, just like you, I spent a lot of time on YouTube just kind of discovering new things, uh, new ideas, always honing my techniques. And I came across uh, this guy's video. Uh, again, I've watched it, it looks phenomenal. It looks like it works. It didn't look like they were doing any fancy editing. So I went ahead and ordered a gallon of this stuff and I want to try it for you. And more importantly, I want to try it for my business because as you know, brushing these houses down, it's a lot of work. Um, and to do, you know, three, four houses a week. This is not that big of a house, but you get some of these two story houses. They're 2,700 square foot that are oxidized. Sometimes those are turned into two day jobs of just scrubbing. Um, be a lot of work so oxnox southeast soft wash we're going to give this a whirl i've already got my ik uh, multi-pro pump sprayer loaded up we're doing a 10 to 1 mix on this i'm cutting it right down the middle uh, they recommend if it's a real light application you know you do like a 15 to 1 if it's really heavy you, you do like a 5 to 1 or a 4 to 1 mix so i'm just going to take the middle road here go back here we'll set the camera up we'll do a couple test spots uh, what i'm going to do first though is i'm going to do my normal wash uh, today we're not going to do anything too fancy. In fact, this house has zero organics on it. So for me to use uh, sodium hypochlorite or bleach on this home, I think it's just a waste of product and it, there's really no need for it. It's not even that dirty. So uh, typically I'll add a little bit of bleach because uh, it will bump up the pH levels on our soaps. But today I just don't think we need it. Um, so I'm going to do a real light uh, application of our terra wash which is our dirt emulsifier and a little bit of our green wash to get some of that more surfactant in there it does have a bio side in there so potentially if there is some organics are going to grow on the north side um, that'll kind of eliminate that but for the most part i just want to wash it get the contaminants that are on there off and then we'll do a rinse down obviously and then we're going to do a small test section just applying oxnox uh, they recommend anywhere from a five to a 15 minute dwell time. It's a little tough out here in Colorado because it's dry and I guarantee you, I've never seen my soaps dwell longer than two minutes before it starts to dry. And then I'm reapplying those soaps or reapplying gutter butter or whatever I was using previously for the oxidation. It just dries really quickly. 
And then uh, you have to keep it wet. So if you either use water, which is gonna rinse some of that product away, or you apply more, more product, more oxidation remover, which then you get into you know, using too much and then you're doing what they call chem locking where you're making the chemical ineffective because it does need air to breathe and needs the air to kind of work. So there's always this fine balance. So we'll see, I'm gonna do, <clears throat> we're in direct sunlight here. Uh, by washing and rinsing, it's gonna cool down that siding. Uh, but for the most part, I'm just gonna apply it. We'll kind of watch how it works. I'm gonna do a small section, maybe like three by three. No brush, um, hopefully, fingers crossed and then just a, a nice rinse off. So if we can get some real success with this, then we'll just continue to wash the whole house that way. And uh, hopefully it's a brushless system and then we can start implementing this, uh, this chemical uh, into our family of chemicals. So we're looking forward to the results. Uh, it's not too busy out here. There's a few cars going by, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me. Uh, but again, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna start uh, getting my, my lines out and then we'll just get to washing, guys. Alrighty guys, so we got it nice and washed. I'm gonna do a little test section here under the window. I'm gonna rinse this down. Make sure all of our soaps and stuff are off this. And as I mentioned, we're doing a, a 10 to one mix on this. And uh, we'll see what happens here. I'm a little skeptical. I'm not too sure if this is uh, truly a brushless application. Uh, but let's give it a shot here. Now normally I'd recommend a really small section on this, uh, but I've fortunately had a little bit of experience, know what to look for. And uh, we'll just kind of go for this little area here. I don't wanna put too much on here, just wanna make sure I get a nice application. Nice and even, we're gonna let that sit, let mother nature do its thing here. And uh, see what kind of results we can get to. And again, I'm just, uh, not 100% sure. We'll see uh, exactly how this comes out. And uh, hopefully we don't have to spend the whole day, whole day brushing. Uh, but let me bring you in just a little bit closer. There's a section here on vinyl that you can move around and actually get an idea the color we're trying to get to, even though it's probably faded and it will stay faded. Let me bring you in here. As you can see this, I shifted the vinyl so it's exposing the original vinyl color that's been obviously protected uh, from the sun. But that's kind of what we're trying to get to here. And we're gonna let it do a nice dwell here. Again, this isn't a very hot mix. So we'll ramp it up if we need to. Right now with this mix, I can tell you I'm not seeing what I would expect to see and typically when you get oxidation, like starting to get pulled off the, the vinyl, you get a kind of a darker, maybe even like a, an amber white color to that. And I know I just experienced using some other products. Um, it usually comes off pretty quickly. Direct sun, it's not the ideal scenario. It's gonna dry fairly quickly. So I'm just keeping an eye on it, making sure I'm not getting any kind of dry spotting in here. If it is, I'll probably, hit it just a little bit more, but we gotta really be careful. Like I mentioned, you know, we don't want to, the chemicals to lock up, which kind of makes them a little bit less effective and takes a little bit longer to work. So again, this is a, a 10 to one mix. I might gonna bump this up here, just based on what I'm looking at. I might double that up and bring that down to like a five to one or four to one. I'm just not, at that level, uh, I'm just not seeing the movement that I want. and. This may be pretty aggressive stuff. It looks like it's on there pretty thick. So we might just need to get a little bit more aggressive with it. So let's let that sit for a minute. I'll rinse it off and then uh, we'll see the results. Okay, so <clears throat> my camera overheated. It's pretty hot out here right now. So I had to wait a little minute. So I had to, it dried, it was drying pretty quickly. So I had to rinse it down real quick. Not seeing the results guys, um, unfortunately. The 10 to one didn't work. I bumped it down to maybe like a five to one and uh, did another application. And it's just, I'm not seeing what I would expect for oxidation. Sorry, I'm not too sure that cut off, but my camera keeps overheating. So we'll do, we'll do what I can here, but it's just not coming off how I would expect. I'm gonna go a little bit more aggressive over here um, on this side here, but Typically when you spray this on here, especially my experience with like gutter butter and uh, 
even the other eco chem I was using, you can see the color variation as soon as the uh, chemical hits that you can see that it's just changing dramatically and still requires some brushing to get it off the surface and then a rinse down. Uh, this is claimed to be a brushless system as I mentioned. I am just not seeing that's the case. So I'm trying to be a, a fair assessment here give it another longer dwell time. Again it's direct sun, it's hot out, it's flashing pretty quickly. That could be the problem is that the chemicals aren't uh, allowed to work as long as they need to. I think the video I watched, they were doing at least a 10 minute, eight to 10 minute, uh, eight to 10 minute dwell. Um, and I just can't get that. Um, but I'm gonna test a few things. I'm gonna try to keep it wet. Don't wanna chem lock it like I mentioned, but we've got a little bit of time here. I'm gonna probably waste another half hour messing around with uh, different ratios see if I can get an actual spray on, spray off solution out of this uh, Oxnox. Uh, if not, I'm gonna abandon the ship and I'm gonna go tried and true. I'm gonna pull out uh, my gutter butter. I know how it works, I've used it and we'll just be scrub a dub dub all day long. So stay tuned, I'll keep you updated as I can. Okay, well, gotta be honest, I'm not seeing the results I was hoping for. Um, got a pretty good uh, aggressive mix here. I would say I'm probably down to a two to one or three to one mix. So it's pretty hot. And I'm letting it dwell for about five minutes or so before it starts to really um, dry up. So then I have to do a, you know, kind of a reapply. I try not to get too much on there, but I got to keep it wet. Uh, this section over here, I brushed because I quite frankly, I'm impatient and this stuff is supposed to make my job a lot easier. And right now it's just slowing things down. So. I'm still testing a brushless side over here. Uh, this area I end up brushing down and I've got pretty close to the results I was looking for. I would still argue there's still a lot of oxidation on there and that's going over with the hot mix as well and then just brushing it and agitating it. Um, I, I wanna be honest, straightforward, you know, I just, I'm not seeing it as a, a viable solution uh, for just a, a spray on rinse off solution. I, the video I watched, it looked pretty miraculous. And I know these guys are, that's what they're, they're gearing for, but for whatever variable I'm having here, uh, I don't know if it's just five years of oxidation built up or what have you, but I'm just not, I'm not seeing it. Uh, the, when I use uh, another product, uh, it's pretty instant to see um, how fast it starts reacting, even though it's a, a system I have to use a brush on, uh, it's just gets it, I don't know, it just does it faster, deeper, clean, even though I have to brush it, I'm saving time because I'm, you know, right now I'm probably a good 25 minutes into this test section. And if it's going to take multiple applications, longer dwell times, um, I would argue that I'm probably gonna spend more time just monkeying around trying to figure out the right dilution on this. But I'm just, as I increase the dilution ratio, meaning I'm adding more Oxnox, making a stronger mix, uh, and I'm doing it gradually. And 10 ounce uh, increments, I would expect to see, you know, a pretty aggressive change. And I'm just not, I mean, I can see some areas but you know, I would expect that you can see, I don't know if I come up on camera or not, as I agitate that, that's coming off pretty good, but I've already rinsed this and reapplied a couple times. And I'm telling you, that's not, it's not coming off with just a rinse cycle. This looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Let's see what this looks like. So as I pull away, this is what was under here. And again, that probably needs to have another application, another scrub on it. It's getting close to the original color, which is what I'm looking for. But the whole premise of this stuff is spray on, let the chemical do the work and rinse it off. And uh, unfortunately, I'm just not seeing that guys. And I'm starting to see where this one's starting to dry. So I gotta jump off here real quick, rinse this down, and then I'll come back on and show you the, rinse, the rinsed off results. Okay, so. I think we're gonna banded the Oxnox ship. Just not impressed um, how it's working. Uh, a little disappointing. And I'm just gonna chalk it up to maybe just not enough experience on my part with that particular product. 
Uh, you would think with increasing the ratios to make it a stronger solution and then increasing the dwell time as much as I possibly can in our hot direct sunlight here about 98 degrees today it's flashing pretty quickly meaning it's drying up um, and maybe we're just not getting the the long dwell time so i've got to chalk it up to that i'm not going to say this is a you know a, a ineffective product or anything disparaging about it. it just my test results i've spent about an hour and a half just monkeying around with different uh, solutions different dwell times and it uh it's just not, it's not the spray on solution that I'm looking for, hoping for. And I don't know if it's the vinyl, what have you. The video I watched was on Hardy Board, which is very promising. But again, uh, there's got to be a ratio I'm missing here. So maybe I'll reach out to Southeast Soft Wash and get a little bit more tips. So anyways, with that said, I've got to move on. I've got my pump sprayer, my tried and true pump sprayer loaded up with gutter butter. I'm doing a uh, 32 ounces of gutter butter to one gallon of water that's my typical ratio it's actually a little bit harder than i use uh, this is pretty thick stuff you can see right here i was letting this dry so this is pretty dry this is one area that i scrubbed with oxnox scrubbed with my brush looks pretty good but there's still there's still a lot of oxidation on there i'm not gonna lie it's not heavy but i can definitely definitely see it uh, this is an area that was 100% just spray on. This is all spray on. And as you can see, it's still that white, chalky, good old oxidation. You can really see it right there. And this final test section down here, I did this as well. You can see it not much change there. <clears throat> this one I went super hot. So I used a pretty heavy mix ratio. I'd say probably almost a one to one uh, mix on that. Open to see some movement. It's a little section. It's on a you know on a side that's not necessarily seen from the street. So I was like, all right, let's go. Let's get aggressive. Let's see what happens here. And not a darn thing came of that. In fact, I just still see quite a bit of oxidation on there. So without spending more time, I'm already an hour and a half. It's hot. I'm frustrated. Um, I was hoping for a little better result today. Hopefully I can get it in and out on this house under you know a couple hours, but now I'm looking at about a four to six hour scrub job on this. So I'm gonna get going. And uh, the next time you'll see me on this video is uh, when this side's completely done with the normal process of applying our gutter butter, giving it about a one to two minute dwell and then scrubbing the heck out of it. And that's to me the best results to get it to a deeper color here. So let's get going and see what that looks like. And I'll get back to you guys in a minute. So I'm a little winded, just been scrubbing away here. I was going to do the whole side, but decided to stop halfway. I wanted to show you guys, I don't know if this pick up on camera, but you can kind of see that orangey hue. And if you rub that between your fingers, it gets kind of uh, silky. That you can tell is oxidation. And that is what I was looking for. Uh, with the Oxnox to see if I could spray that on and start seeing that kind of peel away. I am just not seeing that at all, but with the brushing I am, and it's not surprising. So a little trick that I use, I have my start brush in my end brush, and I normally put in the spot so I know what sections I'm working with. So I know that I've already brushed all this side here, and now I brushed all the way to this other side over here and stopped my brush there, and I overlapped. And then uh, I gotta make sure this doesn't dry with the, uh, in this case, gutter butter. I don't want that dry on there. So I am just going to wet this down a little bit, keep it wet. Uh, seeing some dry spots right there. And I don't wanna use too much, but again, you can start seeing where it's drying. I haven't rinsed it yet. So I wanna make sure I'm keeping this wet. And I already brushed, so I know I'm getting the results that I'm looking for. And then I can come back and I can do some touch-up spots where I wanted to, where I missed some things or what have you. Someone asked about windows. Make sure you keep those wet. If you get uh, any kind of oxidation rule product on there, you're going to etch that glass. So I keep it wet. I'll use a, just rinse it throughout the process. I know I sprayed some on this one, so I've already rinsed it down. And uh, I just want to keep everything going. So I'm going to put the camera down. This stuff is drying so fast, guys. I got to stay on top of it. 
Uh, but I'm gonna let this hole dry. I'll do the 50-50 and you can see kind of what it looks like before and after and then I'll move on and finish the house up today. So one thing I'll show you that I've found really tricky to clean is these little inside areas here. And I'm just gonna use this little brush here, but I wanna get that. So those bristles kind of push behind. Other than that, I, if I don't do that, then I have, which is my normal brushes. Um, I just can't get in these little grooves here. So just gotta get in the best you can. It's not gonna get perfect. I always let the customer know there's gonna be little areas that are just really impossible to get to. But on the bigger picture, having the uh, entire siding clean and brushed down is far more important. It looks a lot better. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here on these edges. Just trying to push that. And really all you're doing is agitating the surface. That's all you really gotta do. So I already did that side there. But I thought I'd stop for a second and show you guys the best way to get in those little grooves. All right guys, so I just wanted to show you real quick. This is pretty much dry. There's a couple little wet spots here and there. Uh, I gotta get moving on this house. Uh, just waste a lot of time, but so I just got done doing this section here I see that I got a couple more spots to hit a lot of times you'll wash this scrub it down And then you won't realize areas you miss until it's dried <clears throat> um, So I got to get that done now the next section I haven't done is this and I wanted to show you that kind of 50 50 here So let me get in the light here. So this is all been scrubbed down with gutter butter uh, Did a 32 to 1 so 32 ounces. I did to one gallon pretty effective it reacted right away and just light agitation. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still have to scrub, but it's not like heavy scrubbing. It's more or less just kind of agitating the surface. Uh, but you can see from here to that side right there has not been done yet. So that's a pretty pretty big difference. Uh, the light's not helping. Let me see if I can bring that down just a little bit. Maybe that'll help just a tad, but clearly there's a big difference. Oxidation's being removed. And uh, without uh, saying much more, um, I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board with the Oxnox. Uh, really disappointed. I was really hoping that would be a spray-on-spray-off uh, spray -off solution. I just don't see it. I mean, think about if you ever washed your car with just water, maybe you went through a, a brushless car wash, which I always recommend because you'll destroy your paint if you don't. It just does not get as clean as actually putting a mitt on your car and getting that dirt off. And then this is the same concept. This is actually a pretty good angle. You can see nothing done here, washed here, washed here. So pretty significant as far as the difference goes. There's a lot of gray on here. So I guarantee you, if I see a couple little spots, I'm gonna go up and touch up when I'm doing this section here. Um, once we put the restore on there, it's pretty much like a brand new, freshly painted house. So. I'm gonna get going. I'm not gonna do any more video. Um, just watch this side over here. Come around the corner. This is pretty light, so this will this will take me no time to walk through. The north side of the house has zero oxidation on it, and just the east side's pretty heavy. So maybe I'll shoot just a maybe a time lapse or something over there to kind of give you guys an idea. But once again, I'm happy with the results of the tried and true gutter butter with a little bit of agitation. So stay tuned, we'll do a walk around on the final. Alrighty guys, we're all wrapped up here on this job in Platteville, Colorado. As you can see, we completely got all the oxidation off this home. Looked out, looks beautiful actually. Long day, lots of scrubbing. A couple places I had to hit a couple times. It was just uh, really heavy on the oxidation. But uh, for the most part, it came out as I expected it wood looks brand new freshly painted we'll start back over here in this house on the south side this is where it really gets a lot of sun gets hammered pretty good but as you can see we got all the oxidation off cut my finger there but it's uh it's clean it's squeaky clean as always these are a blast to do Sun's hitting it pretty good. We've got a few wet spots. I just did the windows. We applied our restore on there. It's got that beautiful, nice, smooth texture, which I absolutely love. Clients seem to love it as well. Um, I always have them fill the house. Uh, when it has oxidation on there, you can just feel that nice gritty on your fingers, and it just doesn't feel very good. And, it, of course, it sh comes off, and they can see the white. So the after is a nice, smooth, clean feeling. And 
goes a long way. I'll go hit the back, the back here. This side wasn't too bad. Didn't take much to get that one cleaned up. Usually, both sides fare pretty good. It's always the uh, south and east sides. So this is the side that was hammered really good. Had some really tough spots back here. Had to go over a couple more times. But um, all in all, all the zero stripes are gone. Fully deoxidized and looking pretty good. Still kind of drying some spots. But for the most part, that's it. So in conclusion, a little disappointed, like I mentioned in the video earlier, in Oxnox, I had high hopes for that. My day, um, I probably added four hours onto my day having to scrub this thing off my original time frame. I thought the uh, Oxnox would easily take two or three hours off the job, especially if it's a spray on wash off solution. So I'm gonna, I'm not giving up on it 100%. I'm gonna do some more research, maybe try to get a hold of those guys at uh, Southeast Soft Wash and see the, um, what their thoughts are maybe I'm doing something wrong. I would lean to the fact that maybe I am, but you know, I've done this on my first rodeo. I've done quite a few of these. i um, just never used that product. So I'm just gonna assume that maybe I need more dwell time. I tried a pretty hot solution as you guys seen, but um, I think I just need to spend a little bit more time on it, let it dwell. But in these temperatures and this dry atmosphere, it, I get maybe a minute and a half and then it's starting to starting to dry up on me so ah, so anyways just wrapping up here uh, thank you guys for watching the videos I appreciate it I uh, appreciate the comments uh, some of you guys have actually reached out and called me and uh, we've had some great conversations keep doing that I mean I appreciate it. I just want to share my knowledge I don't know everything but I know what I know I know what what it takes to get these houses clean I know what it takes to get the oxidation off uh, forgive the it's a little windy here i'm a little windy i've been pulling hoses trying to get the truck wrapped up got the customer pulling his truck in right here uh, but anyways just wanted to tell you guys thanks let me know if you have any questions i'm going to do a little more research go back to the drawing board on this ox and ox i really have high hopes for that product if we can get it to work right figure out the dwell times and stuff i think uh we'll be in pretty good shape but anyways guys take care and again thank you for watching another mountain view soft wash video